electric crowd. Huge gathering here in Western Michigan. Muskegon, Karen, Seaman, Loyola, Emmanuel. Billy Mack, Chris McGee has this crowd pumped up. And you're right, this is for winter bragging rights. Final event, final championship. And Karen's almost rebounds that one over. Now remember, an eight minute running clock. First one of 15, got a win by two here in our final. And Emmanuel Riga will serve it up. Pride of Brazil. Pretty good serve. Good up by Karen. Stumbles a little bit over the line. It'll come right back over. Karen's again the turn. Emmanuel with the opportunity. Right there. And right like that, it's one nothing. Emmanuel and Loyola. And if you're Mark Kearns, one of the hardest hitters on the beach, the last thing you want to do against the Brazilians is come out and hit a couple of tentative balls. Emmanuel all over it, delivering the work for the first point. Karen's best finish this year is a third in Jacksonville. There is a good and bad side. Emmanuel and Loyola playing on the good side here on the first turn. And the breeze is rather brisk off the lake. Well, Mark Kearns did win one open last year with Henry Russell. Canyon Seaman won two opens last summer, so they know how to win. It's a rematch of a quarterfinal earlier match where uh, Seaman and Kearns had a great comeback to meet Emmanuel and Loyola. And... Uh, this is going to be a tough final for these guys. They're going to have to play their absolute best because Loyola and Emmanuel, through the course of the tournament, have really got themselves into a nice groove right now. Karen will serve it up. Over to Loyola. Keeps it in. Jose ready to pound. Big block. Can you see it? And the crowd roars its approval and canyon seaman you can see he loved that not known for his blocking gets up pikes over and blocks the ball right back into loyola's mug out of stanford university canyon seaman mark karen's again with the run up and serve we're tied at one seaman trying to make a two in a row on the block great dig by karen's can canyon get there yes Couple of good plays, though. Little chicken wing dig that time, just sticking out the stick. <laughs> great, great dig by Mark Cairns. But when you've got your partner mortaring 30 feet across the court to save the ball for you, you keep that one in. You don't hit that in the net. You keep it going, keep the pressure on. And you've got the crowd certainly on your side. They seemingly early on favoring and Seaman and Cairns. Loyola, no stranger to having the throngs against him. Great serve. Ace right down the middle. Loyola just beats this ball deep middle into the wind. Here you're going to see. Just. That's, that was in by two feet. They've got to play that ball. Loyola and Emmanuel, a second place last week in Del Mar. Oh, what a big pound. Mark Karen's right on top and really no challenge by Loyola or Emmanuel. Well, Emmanuel was taking the line on his blocking, but when the set's this close, Emmanuel's got to take that step inside to block it. Kern sees the wide open cross court, and this is what I'm talking about. This is an aggressive side out. That's what I'm talking about. Now, here's Loyola. He goes right back at it. We talked about it in the semifinal. Jose Loyola, as much as anybody on tour, when his team gets pounded on, he'll pound it right back. He wants the tit for tat. That Brazilian blood starts to boil. Jose and Emmanuel, their last win on this tour back at Seal Beach. And the crowd decidedly in favor of Seaman and Currens right now. And it seems like where, wherever Loyola and Emmanuel play on the AVP tour, there becomes a state of nationalism. It just, they drive the U.S. fans to, to root for the American players. And I think it's great for the tour. Oh. Same thing, right down the middle. Well, it happened to Canyon Seaman and Mark Karen, so they return the trick on Loyola and Emmanuel, and we are tied at deuces early on. But the big key to returning the trick is that Karen's and Seaman got the ace on the bad side. 
And they, those are hard to come by. Yes, you've got two points already trying to take the turn with three on the bad side. That one sails long. 80 degrees, very comfortable at game time. The only factor, of course, is the breeze. And there's a nice breeze in the face of Loyola, but you see the grandstands, they're so big, they block so much of the wind, that even though when we're up here in the crow's nest, getting blown on, down there courtside, the wind is not as big as a, uh, as a factor as it would be if there were no grandstands. It is a perfect theater for volleyball, as it has been for many years since the tour started coming to Western Michigan, Grand Haven or Muskegon. Very knowledgeable fans, and all week long, they have been partying, getting set. In fact, Mike Dodd, as I mentioned earlier, has been reveling in it all, along with the hop. More on that in a moment. And, Seaman, as you said, it's going to be bombs away right now for the Brazilians. Bombs away for Brazil, and really, one of those real critical mid parts of a match, where if you're Brazil, you've really got to take advantage of this good side, try to get yourself back close to Cairns and Seaman. If you're Cairns and Seaman, you can make a huge move to win the whole match by having another good series on the bad side. Two points over here, that would be sensational. They would take one, that would uh, ensure a lead going to the other side. And now a service error on the first opportunity for Loyola and Emmanuel. From Mark Cairns, how will he perform in this center stage situation? That is always a factor when you are not there a lot. How will you react to it? $50,000 Miller Lite ABP Tour Championships. You are witnessing it coast to coast here on Fox Sports Net. We certainly hope you've enjoyed our coverage all summer long with the AVP. Did it hit the net? Yes, it did. Just kicked the top of the net. Looked like a brilliant ace, short serve, dipping. Yeah, this serve just block, kicks block, the top block, of the block, net, Billy. Yeah. But this is what's going to be coming at Siemens and, and Kearns for the next uh, five points at least. Oh, Opportunity, oh. Emmanuel. Finds Emmanuel it easily. Got Good up there high. Out. Hardly anyone on tour jumps as high as Emmanuel does. Took a little peek and then found the open sand. And that's why the serve is so key, because once Emmanuel and Loyola get a perfect pass and a good set, it's almost impossible to stop them defensively. They just get up too high and they have too much range. Canyon Seaman. You know, that is an art that went away a few years ago, using your hands when they started calling things a lot tighter on tour, but Mark Cairns, no problem. Mark Cairns is a surprisingly good setter, very underrated in that skill, and he gives Canyon Seaman perfect sets. Jose, Jose over Canyon Seaman that time. So they haven't won on this tour since Seal Beach. You saw highlights of it. It was an overtime win over Lewis and Swadek. One of the great finals in many, many years in front of a huge throng down in Orange County in Southern California. That one's out again. Boy, they're just making mistake after mistake. That's a frustrating thing to do when you go over to that good side. Billy, numerous serving areas, errors, but in a well-played match, as we see in our stats right now, only one unforced error during play, and that was Mark Kearns. That pass worked out great for Loyola. It was slow, but it was right to Emmanuel, and some heat passed into that pound. Kane Seaman gets off a nice jump serve down the line from the bad side. Loyola just with a perfect pass, and Emmanuel, like I said, when they pass and they set, they are almost impossible to stop. Stuck on 7-3, Cairns and Seaman leading. And Canyon back set him. He does, it's off. And again, right through the attempted dig of Emmanuel Rigo. And a nice bump set for Canyon Seaman over his head, giving his partner a chance to swing away. You are right behind Mark Cairns with that shot. That's going to be tight. Love that defense. Now let's take a good look at Mark Cairns behind Kane Seaman with a soft block. Cairns 
fully extended, shoots it over on the surprise Brazilians, and Cairns turns to the crowd and just gives them the primal yell. Loyola trying to stop it again. Up and over Canyon Seaman that time. But there were many factors that went into that. It was a tight set. Seaman did get the hand on it, and then Cairns full bore. 8-3 is our score. In a surprise. Trust me, it's a shocker right now. A little low on the set. Will they be able to get out of it? Can you see? Brazilians get a point, 8-4. the point. There you see Emmanuel encouraging Loyola to keep with me, keep pushing, keep going. Brazil will not give up. They will not go away. They're so physically talented, they can score points in bunches. Good, wise timeout right now for Seaman and Kurtz. And of course, if you're watching Pro Beach Volleyball for the first time, you're saying, how can Emmanuel hit it two times in a row? Well, it was off a block, he can go back and get it himself. Make the soft block. And on the beach game, you only get three contacts. Indoors, you get the soft block, and you get three plays after that. That's why his partner, Jose Loyola, had to go over on three. It's a squat sand timeout. Again, this is the culmination of a wonderful year for the AVP. It's been a grueling, grueling, long summer, though, for these players traveling around the country. But we certainly hope they have brought enjoyment to all you fans, not only on television, but if you've gone out to one of the sites, you know what it's like. And you know, we promise a, a bigger and better and just as exhilarating 1999 on the beach with the best in the world. Into the net. And earlier in the match, Brazil takes a timeout. Canyon Seaman comes out and serves an ace. This time it works well for the American squad. They take the timeout, and Jose Loyola serves the ball in the net. We even fall into that nationalistic call of the game, don't we? And it makes it fun. It makes it interesting. And like I said, I think uh, Loyola and Emmanuel revel in it. They, that's the reason why they're together. They're together to get ready for the Olympics, too. And to every AVP event is like a little Olympics for them. And, and, and that's the kind, of, the kind of tough situation. When you're playing every day, every time you go out with a team that wants to play their best to beat you and a crowd that wants you to lose, it forces you to become mentally and mentally tougher. And this is incredibly good for the Brazilian team, incredibly good training. Karen serving back. It wasn't that great of a serve. Jose Loyola, 99 times out of 100, makes that pass. This is just a complete lapse in concentration. Nine, Jose four. Loyola shanking the, ser the serve, the easy serve from Kearns. And bigger than that, another huge point for the bad side. That's more like it for Jose. No touch. Mistake after mistake after mistake, and they have dug themselves a hole they may not be able to get out of. It is 10-4, and again, scoring on the bad side with regularity, Cairns and Seaman. An expected timeout for Brazil. They need to calm down and gather themselves. They've got the potential to come back, but it's going to be tough. Can they? Will they? I'll tell you what, Will Smith would be as proud as can be. They're doing his song, Get Jiggy with It Justice. And the fans are just going nuts. They love it out here. There's Keeter doing the body flop. Go ahead, Keeter. Go, Keeter. Go. And look at Jose Loyola. <laughs> Jose standing right over him. Like Ali over Liston. <laughs> the Geek Man finishing off the year with the Jiggy Dance Squad, getting after it. One of the voices of the AVP Tour, along with Sam Lagana and Jimmy Arico, who each and every week are the voice to the crowds. Now let's get back to the action. 5-10 on the bad side. Loyola and Emmanuel need to manufacture something. Terrence, big hits. Cairns and Seaman, they're within distance right now. 10-5, they could close it out on this side. They could. And here again, we get a shot of the heavy ball I spoke about. Cairns just rips his cross court, and it gets to Loyola so fast, he's in perfect position. He just can't control the ball. Yeah. Shake pass. 
Let's see what Emmanuel can do with it. Opportunity to get to 11. Great play by Emmanuel. I'll tell you what, I think Canyon Seaman was a little lackadaisical on that shot. Billy, you hit the nail right on the head. That was a great point opportunity, and they just kind of eased up a little bit. Canyon, without a real strong approach, hits a lazy shot down the line. Emmanuel slaps it back and said, you got to do better than that if you're going to come out and beat me. Yeah, absolutely not a good play at all by Canyon Seaman. A little miscommunication, but Canyon's more cute in the middle for his huge side out. <laughs> Well, you, you, you said that the question was going to be on Mark, Mark Cairns whether he could come out and play well in this final. I think he's answered that question just playing fabulous. It's nice to see uh, new guys make it to center court for a final this year or guys that haven't been there a lot. Oh, again. I'll tell you what, that's two times in a row now, Canyon Seaman. Really should do that! And you, you hear Canyon Seaman yelling at himself. And he's right, you're right, Billy. Those were two easy point opportunities and lackadaisical plays on both counts. Canyon tried to take that ball with his hands when that spike hits the top of the net and comes off in more slowly. You've got to make the ball. clean play. It's yep. not a driven ball. So the Brazilians, we see it all the time. The other team with a chance to put him away. Then they give him a little light, and they bolt right to it. But so far, being able to answer back, same it in Karens. They're still sighting out, and that's the key. Good serve again. No block. No block. This is as pumped as Mark Karen is ever going to be on the bottom of that court. And that was a very tough attempt for Emmanuel. We lose a little bit of the depth perception here, but Loyola really shoots this ball way outside. Emmanuel trying to make the save. That's just a poor set for Jose Loyola. Mark Terrence, of course, one with Henry Russell in New England. Emmanuel, good play. His time to serve, 3.39. The clock not even close to being a factor with Karens and Seaman already at 11. I think if you're Jimmy Mingus and a Loyola Emanuel team, you really want to push for three points over here on the back side. Jose Loyola. You need two more. That is a huge phone booth type block right there. And you're exactly right, Billy. That's the kind of block that sticks in the opponent's mind that says, if you got anything close, you're going nowhere. We have often said that is the kind of play that gets you going more than anything, a huge block. Now Seaman's thinking about it. And a wonderful cut. At what? an almost impossible Canyon. angle. And that was another tight set for Mark Kearns. He's got to keep Canyon Seaman off the net. Canyon wisely deciding not to blast away at Loyola's block, cutting it sharp cross court for the great side out. 11 to 6, the score. Kearns and Seaman serving and leading. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. You know, Just that time was a perfect set for Jose Loyola. And that was a perfect example of hang time for Emmanuel. Basketball players, some of them just have that physical ability, and Emmanuel seems to be one of those athletes that can do it. It's the gift from God. They just rise and they stay up there. For some and the rest of us somehow. go, how do they do that? <laughs> and he can do so many things while he's up there. That's what's so impressive. Loyola was digging hard and gets it. Jose diving. Well, well, Jose Loyola that up. time Jose committed very early. He had to take Jose a chance, Jose. and it paid off for him. The ball's going to trickle on the top of the net. Loyola full layout, great ball control, and then to finish the play, a nice soft shot down the line. And another point on the bad side. One more, and it's mission accomplished for them. Oh, and Emmanuel had an opportunity. Right in pause. Emmanuel says to Loyola, sorry, that's my bad play. Perfect drop off the net. He's got to control that ball. Un Loyola unable to track it down. Trying to get to an even dozen. Canyon Seaman the serve. Way out. Missed by five, six feet. 
Kenyon Seaman has really got to regain his focus here. He's had a couple of lazy shots. He's blown a couple point opportunities. He's got to get back on track. He's got to serve big for them to win this match. Good set. Oh, Emmanuel! Emmanuel running out like only Emmanuel can do. Emmanuel and Loyola both getting Emmanuel dirty this time around in, in the sand for two yeah. sensational digs. Well, they jump oh, serve, they spike, they block the so well. They have such incredible rise. You forget about their defensive abilities, and that was Emmanuel at his finest. Emmanuel, six foot four. He used it all. Only 175 string bean. He's out there. So, Billy, Brazil has put the pressure on. They've got to the eight points that they want. Now, if you're Canyon Seaman and Mark Kearns, you got to battle. you got to get that 12 point go over to the bad side with a better cushion. If Brazil gets to 11 9, Kearns and Seaman are going to be in a lot of trouble. The crowd in and around our venue. Always a family affair when you come to the beach and when you see Pro Beach Volleyball. The sport of the summer. And another view of the crowd and you see the breeze continuing to blow. And it has not worked in the favor of Seaman and Karens out on the lake in western Michigan. And Loyola and Emmanuel those two poor plays by Canyon Seaman, as they say, will it haunt them? Well, they made the switch, Billy, at 10-5. They convert on those two-point opportunities. It's 12-5. The game takes a whole different complexion for both teams. They didn't even get to 12. They never got to 12 before they took the turn. Well, the left-handed stab defensively. Eight from the bad side. You know what? We're going to do the way. Although, rather, they're down by two, we're you have to right say here. the favorite right now, the Brazilians. We'll see in a minute. And a reminder, every night at 10 on Fox Sports Net, it's Fox Sports News Primetime. All the scores, all the highlights, all the breaking stories. Covering your hometown team seven nights a week. We are there from the Flavor Factory. Fox Sports News Primetime, every night at 10. You Check your local listings. On the good side, Emmanuel on a roll right now. And Karen starts off with a fast bump. Was there a touch? No touch. No touch. Billy. One point game. Another point for Brazil. Seaman and Karen's have really got to get something going. Get the crowd back on their side. The crowd's kind of at a lull right now. Hardest thing is to close someone out. And we mention every week, this is what makes the Smith, Stoklos, Hav, Dodd, Kirai, and whoever <laughs> teams so good throughout the years. The presser in the final in an open. I hope that those two kind of lazy plays that Canyon Seaman made on those point opportunities don't come back to haunt them. But as of right now, they're playing a critical part in the match. But a big side out. Can't even uh, tell you how big that was oh. for Karen's and Seaman. And he's got it! Oh, he's got it! Makes a mistake. Jose could have made that pass. It actually looks like Jose stumbles a little bit on this no, serve. It's coming right toward him. I think he stumbled a little bit, decided to let it go. Right. And that right. ball just clips on the backside. Huge ace from the bad side with the wind at his back for Mark Karen. 12-10, oh. our score. Loyola. Jose answers the call. With authority, Jose Loyola. Laser beam. If you love volleyball, you can't help but appreciate Jose Loyola and his physical abilities. They're just unbelievable. Spanks that serve right on the line. Jose once again answering ago if you were in Hermosa you saw the clinic of all clinics by Adam Johnson and what it can do when you are acing but here you're gonna see Mark Cairns just watch and hope because when Jose beats that ball down his line it's nearly impossible to pass one point game again going to 15 
Clock not a factor at 243 plus. Canyon Seaman will get a chance to spank. Mishandle ball, Billy. Yep. And we're tied at 12. What seemed to be in the lap of Seaman and Karen. Now we're tied at 12. And, and Canyon Seaman was back there talking with Mark Karen's. And they've got to look each other eye. They're going to take a timeout right now at Spark. Look each other in the eye and say, hey, it's 12 all. We've got this far. We've played great to get here. Let's continue the plays that work for us. Good sitting on the side. Hey, keep going a little bit and focus in. And Hobb is in the very back right-hand corner. He's got the Hobb black in the tank black top. Tank black top. tank top. The guy has just put this town on fuego this week. Hob, of course, was up here in the booth last year. Great shot for Canyon, and psychologically more important, Mark here steps right up to the plate, sets the ball again with his hands after a tough throw call, and that's big for your confidence. Well, you know, if you're Seaman and Karen's, all you got to say is, let's get one. We go to the good side. We're ahead, and we're two points away from a win. And you know that's what they were talking about. And it's going to happen right here. On the joust. Canyon Seaman, ladies and gentlemen. Canyon Seaman says, I'm going to go. right, Billy. They took that time out to gather themselves, realizing let's get one point and get over to the good side. And they have an opportunity now, leading 13-12 in front of a wild throng at Muskegon. Oh, shaking it like no other. Shaking that jello, baby. <laughs> one of the great personalities for many years and a great supporter of volleyball. Yeah, you no thought, you thought, Billy, you talked to a lot of the fans. Hey, what did you come here for? Was it Loyola's incredible skying? Was it the Ken Seven Slam? They go, no, I came to see Marvin Hall dance. And that was a huge over on two for Kenny and Seaman, getting them that all-important 13th point. On that big joust a few moments ago. So now Marvin's got to gather up a little bit of air and try to umpire the rest of this match. The business at hand. Mark Karen's trying to win another Open. His partner, Canyon Seaman, they are in good shape here. Emmanuel close, down. Seaman's got it, though. A chance to get the game point. Canyon Seaman, Mark Karen's with the set. You've been the best pal all year, don't stop now. We got match point on your feet. They're up in Muskegon. On your feet. Muskegon's going nuts, Billy. Canyon Seaman, great serve to make the whole play happen. They are so pumped right now, we've got match point. Everyone up. We're at match point, 14-12. Loyola must convert. Yes! He is so good. He is so good. He's so good, and we mentioned it earlier in the match with Lewis and Swadek. Lewis and Swadek were ahead 14-11. Emmanuel Loyola had 13 match balls they needed to side out. They did every one. So they can do this. They can side out for a while with the match on the line. And a great serve. With that jump serve, hit, hit the, the ball sand. Sand before Canyon Seaman's back. That was so close. Everybody up again. The Brazilians argue, but to no avail, and we're back to match point for Canyon Seaman. Match point number two. We'll let the sights and the sounds of match point play out. Oh, we'll have to cut that short. And the emotions, Billy. Yeah, uh, Karen's does not. I'll tell you what, with the crowd roaring like that, put the ball in play. Keep the pressure on. Yes. Now Jose Loyola, down by two. Mark Karen's in the corner. Mark uses the block. And once Everybody again, on your hit the team. trifecta. Last point, last turn of the There's end. another perfect, flawless set from Kenyon Seaman. And Mark Kieran answering the call. Match point number three, the serve to Kenyon Seaman. Oh, Emmanuel Rigo has an answer. 
You are just looking at 25 years of volleyball prodigy. The guy's only 25 years old, a world of experience, and that's just big time playing. That's big time volleyball. Coming from the voice of one of the best that ever played, too, Mike Dodd. Off the net. Karen's played it perfectly. He was patient. Mark Karen's was patient, and it worked out for them. And Billy, sometimes it's better to be lucky and good. Can you see him shake that serve? Loyola waiting like a panther. He can't hit the ball. It taps off the top of the net, and Seaman makes a great hit deep middle, and the crowd Thank back up on their feet Thank for our fourth match point serve. Mark Karens will deliver. Looking for the title right here. Emmanuel against Seaman at the net. Emmanuel. In the clutch, Emmanuel Rigo. And he's not taking much off of that hit either, is he? Billy, he is bombing. And you know, you play all year long. It's been a long, tough season. But this is what you train it's for. Fun. This is what you work for. This is the fun time. I mean, the Brazilians are having fun, even though they're at match point again. That took the shot home right off the Brazilian. Emmanuel was in perfect position to put the block on Karen. But that heavy ball going through the block, knocking his hat out. And again, can Brazil answer for the fifth time? And the crescendo. Look at this crowd. They switch it up to Loyola. It's tight. And right down for Loyola. Mark Karen's had an opportunity to go up and just scuff that thing. He had the opportunity. The only problem was Kears was on the mezzanine, and Loyola went up to about the ninth floor and hits this ball right over the top. His architect built a higher elevator. Brazilians hanging in. Blocked by Loyola. Again, the heavy arm of Mark Karen and Loyola. Perfect position on the block. Kears just hits this ball so hard. It ricochets off Loyola's block and out of bounds. What is it now, Billy? Number six. And the decibel level continues to rise. Nobody up. That's going to go in. Can Emmanuel answer? Nobody again. But out. It's just out. It didn't matter, though. Referee Greg Brown call. calling the lift on Kenyon Seaman. Yeah. You're going to get a lot of boos from the crowd, but no argument from the players. Krause right on that play. That's a good call. Seaman drops. He's going to stick his left hand out and just kind of lift the ball. And you can't do that on a ball that's not driven. A little glue on that hand. Deep dishing it on the side. And we're not even realizing that Keen, that, that Kearns and Seaman continue to side out in a huge fashion, keeping the pressure on Brazil. Not folding shop at all. Now, in case you're wondering, the time clock is at a minute 17, so still not coming into play. And Kenyon Seaman puts his hand to his ear and says, Muskegon, I can't hear you. Make it a little louder for me, please. Will number seven be the lucky roll? Good serve. Low set. Billy, that is the joy of sport. That's why you train. That's why you play. You must play your best match to beat this great team of Loyola and Cairns. Loyola and Emmanuel, and today, Mark Cairns and Canyon Seaman did the job. What a thrill for Canyon Seaman, but especially for Mark Cairns. He hasn't been in the spotlight that often, and he is enjoying every minute. Here is championship point. Canyon Seaman is going to do what he's done all day to get his team points, and that put Brazil in trouble off the pass. Good set, they drop off, and this is just a tough hit for Loyola. Sails out of bounds, and you see the joy of Mark Kearns. And you know what, Bill? Silently, that's two summers in a row that Mark Kearns has an open win, and there aren't a lot of guys on tour that can make that claim. There's a lot of guys that can't even claim one. Mark Kearns. Wonderful stuff. What a match. We're back to talk about it after this.